everyone and welcome to the Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over synaptic arrangements. There are a few ways that our cells can be connected to each other. One of those ways is the one-to-one -one cell arrangement. An example of this would be the neuromuscular junction where one motor neuron is synapsed with one muscular cell. Another way our cells can be connected is the many-to-one arrangement. This is where many cells send chemical messages to influence one cell. For example, there could be five presynaptic cells that all synapse on the cell body of one postsynaptic cell. All of these presynaptic cells will try and influence our one postsynaptic cell. Imagine that we have three cells that are releasing a neurotransmitter that causes a positive end plate potential or excitatory postsynaptic potential. These potentials end up alongside our two cells that are releasing a neurotransmitter that causes a negative end plate potential or inhibitory postsynaptic potential. To find out if our cell will fire an action potential, we must add up all of our postsynaptic potentials together. In this case, our cell had just enough positive potential to reach threshold for its voltage gated sodium channels. This means that our cell will subsequently fire an action potential. When we add all of our potentials in the same space, we say that this cell has spatial summation. This means that potentials that arrive at the same space can either add up or in our case, cancel each other out. Now, when we add up multiple potentials that arrive at the end plate at the same time, we say that the cell has temporal summation. This means that the cell is firing an action potential so fast that it causes some of its potentials to arrive at essentially the same time. Clinically, we should know that long-term potentiation is how we form memories. Simply put, the more and more that we use a neural pathway, the stronger that that pathway becomes. This pathway becomes stronger because the cells involved in that memory will send more neurotransmitters and the postsynaptic cell will generate more neurotransmitter receptors to receive those neurotransmitters. For example, if you were to watch this video three times, the memories that you retain from this video would become stronger and stronger and you would be able to recall this information more easily. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.